Have you ever wondered what happens to the used paper after you give it to the Radhiwala? This is how it looks like. The paper collected by them is sent to the paper mills where a major part of the paper ends up into the landfills in the form of sludge. The reason is just because it's non-recyclable. This is just one example out of the thousands of industrial waste that end up seeing the same fate. I am Dr. Vinish Desai and I run a salon for industrial waste. Yes, you heard it right. We transform the industrial waste into eco-innovations, which are also uh, economically uh, products. A lot has been said about domestic waste and its need for segregation, but very little is discussed about the industrial waste, which is a major cause of pollution. Today in India, according to a survey, more than 43,000 industries produce 19,000 tons of solid waste which is roughly equivalent to the weight of 10,000 cars and this is just daily. If we, if we decide to see our own locality, in Wabi, 200 tons of just paper waste ends up in the landfills. So, what did I do with it? Well, I converted them into tea blocks. These blocks are then used to build houses and toilets. These bricks are made from paper waste and chewing gum. Now you may be wondering, chewing gum? Yes, one of the core ingredients that goes into the binder to make these handmade grip bricks is chewing gum. These bricks are lightweight, they are durable, they are stronger than the conventional bricks. They are twice the size, yet half the price. It all started when a chewing gum got stuck on my pants and it hardened up. I was 11 back then and I was very curious, so I did the same experiment again. What resulted in was the first brick. The process of making these bricks is very simple. First, we mix the waste and the binder and keep it for 5-6 to six hours. Then they are manually pressed. Once they are naturally dried in the soil, solar dryers, these bricks are ready to light up the lives of the needle. During the same age, I also came across the negativity that surrounded the word slum. And that was then that I decided that there will be a day when I'll change the way we see slums to be. The journey was not easy. It was full of challenges and failures. But at last, at age 16, I started my first company with the same vision. And what I made was the world's first house made from paper waste and chewing gum. By age 21, we had constructed more than 600 toilets and built more than 40 plus houses. Our limitations came due to the handmade production and natural run. But on the other hand, its lightweight nature helped people to carry them with ease and thus enable faster constructions. It also helped reduce the cost of employment and reduce the cost of other products as well. Thus, we were able to save 40% on the total cost of constructing a house or a toilet. Unlike traditional red bricks, our houses and toilets and bricks are eco-conscious. That means we do not disturb the environment. Its natural heat insulation keeps the interior cool during the Indian scorching heat. Our experiences during these constructions in the villages have been very unique may be providing a safe space for a daughter and all, all her other sisters or to uh, houses and toilets being a social change into that village. These are just some of the examples, but there was one instance that changed my perspective forever. It was during construction of a toilet in a, in a village, a man came and innocently questioned me. He said, Kya bhaiya, aap idhar tiles ki jagah pe ghaas laga sakte ho? Now this, this confused me, so I asked him why did he say so. What he said next rendered me speechless. He said and I quote, Jab tak mujhe bichwaare pe ghaas nahi lagegi, tab tak mujhe hogi nahi. <laughs> so this was that time when I realized India needs a soch with a sochale. 
by age 23, I decided that we require a salon for various industrial waste. Thus, I created a lab. Here, we have more than 14 different types of industrial waste, which we convert them into eco innovations. Here are some of them. What used to be a waste from a metal manufacturing industry is now a vitrified flow tiles. What came out from a paper uh, mill and a paper bag manufacturer is now a wooden panel. What came from a cloth manufacturer is now artificial sand. And even the paper waste is this beautiful looking lamp. Swachh Bharat is not just about keeping our surroundings clean. It has a lot to do with how we take care of our waste. A simple DIY project such as using the plastic rejects into your landscaping or going out and going to a nearby construction site and collecting their debris and using it for your, uh, for your landfilling purposes is just two examples out of various ways you can innovate. There are lots of industrial ways out there which you can use as a resource and we need the attention. Thus remember, there is nothing useless in this world. What might be a waste to you is someone's asset. So next time, when you see paper and chewing gum, remember that it can be used to make a home for someone in need.